a history of pretty good receivers in this year. This game has been going on for a long time. 1899, the first time it was played, right at the turn of the century. Can you imagine the desert and the turn of the century? No air conditioning? No, oh. I, no I can't. <laughs> Here's Herring in the ball game for the first time, and Herring stays on his feet, picks up big yardage across the 40-yard line, a gain of 18. And right now, let's send you to our College Football Saturday studio for Kiyosara Game Break with Mike Goldberg. Hey, Barry, how about those Boise State Broncos? They entered this week number 11 in the BCS, and thanks to the heroics of Jared Zabransky and Ian Johnson, they're going to stay in the top 12. They're going to finish the regular season 12-0, and as Petros, the BCS whiz knows, they will earn an automatic berth into the BCS Championship Series. Well, that's a good football team, and I'll tell you what, winning at Reno is not easy. Nevada's not a bad team at all. Play fake this time, caught in the rolls out, throws underneath. That was caught by Zach Miller. Miller made the first man miss him, but was stopped by Larson after game four. Zach Miller, probably the best player on the Arizona State team, pound for pound, 6'5", 260 junior out of Phoenix, Arizona. Maybe the best tight end in the country. Not a lot of people expect him to stay for his senior year. And why not come out? I mean, he will be the first tight end pick in the NFL draft is what all the prognosticators are saying. Good player, uses the body well, great hands, gets open, and he can block. Many people saying the only tight end that will be drafted in the first round. There's a play fake again. Parker with an air and out. He's got the other middle open this time for the 40-yard line. That's Brother Brent on the catch, his second catch. And he's only 30 pounds lighter than his younger brother, Brent Miller. Been doing a good job, and you mentioned it earlier. I mean, he's been having a lot more success catching the football this year. Rudy Carpenter with the play fake, doing a great job getting out into the open. He throws very well on the run, actually liked to throw on the run better. Ball's right on the money over the middle. And we have an injured Sun Devil down. There's a look at Brent Miller. Paul Fanica is the man down. No small guy, Fanica at 6'6", 355 pounds. And it's exactly what ASU can not afford. Let's see if we can see what happened. He's number 63 on the right side. See Fanica just trying to hold his ground, and that always happens to offensive linemen. Somebody came up behind him and got him in the back of the leg, and he's limping off the football field right now. He was already starting for Berg, who was the starter and a senior. At the beginning of the season, Fanica, a former walk-on, the biggest guy on the team. When you're 6'6", 355, you know, you get hit in the back of the leg, you don't go down easy. <laughs> no, no, but you go down far. That's a hard way to fall. It's not the easy way down. Did Goldberg in the studio say that I was a BCS whiz, by the way? I think he did, yes. There's Berg and Carnahan. Isn't just that, because I'm on the BCS show doesn't make me a BCS whiz. BCS whiz is something you serve before dinner, isn't it? <laughs> First down at the 40-yard line. And Carpenter checking off. Carpenter straight back, short drop, pump fake. Now he's looking for it all. And actually, that's a miscommunication. He would have had Mike Jones, but Jones did not continue his route. Well, we've been talking about this rivalry, how far back it goes, 1899, when Arizona State won that game, 11 to two. Who could forget that safety? <laughs> <laughs> they've, met, they've met every year since 1946. Yeah, everybody was at that game still talking about it, I'm telling you. The teams have split the last 14 games, and very rarely has the favorite won this game. Arizona's slight favorite today. They trail right now, here's Herring. That's about three. Ronnie Palmer on the stop for the Wildcats. Well, A-State has used all their tailbacks in this football game. dewitty has been in the game. Terrain has been in the game. Usually they like to give him more carries than he's gotten. Herring is their changeup back. He was the starter last year as a true freshman. And we've seen Dimitri Nance. Everybody getting the rock. Dewitty usually in there on passing situations, which of course this is. Third down and eight. Carpenter straight back, looking for the screen. <laughs> That's the way you break up a screen. That was Spencer Larson. 
And DeWitty, I think, is still looking for parts of his equipment. Well, it's hard to think that Mike and Mark Stoops would not be in love with Spencer Larson, their weak side linebacker. This guy just flies all over the field, and he's a headhunter. Watch him leave his feet and just commit to making this play and finishing the play, driving DeWitty into the turf. And now there's some confusion for Arizona getting out on the football field on the punt. Beautiful in slow motion. Yeah, they're going to have to call a timeout. <laughs> he's, he's been all over the field already today. And it's going to, incidentally, Carpenter is the man who is in punt formation. Now, he is a punter, and it's possible that he will punt, but it's something to point out when your quarterback goes into punt formation. And that may be why Arizona had to call this timeout, as a matter of fact. Well, during every Pac-10 head-to-head matchup on F FSN this year, a Pontiac Pac-10 game-changing performance was selected. Pontiac awarded the school $1,000 to its general scholarship fund. Now, here's your chance to vote for the Pontiac Pac-10 game-changing performance of the year, where Pontiac will award $10,000 to the winning school's general scholarship fund. All you have to do is go to pac-10.org to vote. And vote for your chance to win a pair of season tickets to your favorite Pac-10 football team. That's pac-10.org to vote now through December 2nd. Tough choice, favorite Pac-10 football team. Well, we've had some good ones. What about Matt Moore versus USC? Came up big. Marshawn Lynch, Cal versus Washington. Now they're going to go on fourth down. They're not even going to put Carpenter in punt formation. It's fourth down and about eight. Carpenter straight back, going for it all. He's got a man out there. The ball's caught for a touchdown. And the receiver was Jamal Lewis. Well, I'll say that's going for it. Definitely going for it. Arizona State, I guess, feels like they have nothing to lose and a huge hit on Rudy Carpenter right in the throat with a forearm. Lewis takes off for the corner. And he's battled injury all year. This was a guy that's been in Cutter's doghouse on and off, only eight receptions this year. Had a great year last year. Beautiful throw and wide open. First fourth down conversion that has been given up by UA all year long and it results in a touchdown and also results oh by the way in them trailing 14 to nothing we welcome you back here is the kickoff by Ainsworth he drives this one towards step toe but he's about seven yards deep and will not come out with it let's look back on that touchdown and ask the question what happened I'm not sure here's Jamal Lewis nobody's on him this safety has responsibility for him and he's just going to run to the corner and do his thing. Nobody challenges the route. Nobody does anything. And he just heads for the corner, and he is wide open. Rudy takes the hit and hangs in there. And a beautiful play. Jamal Lewis has only played in six games this season for the Sun Devils. And what a huge play on fourth down against the tough defense. Arizona State now with almost 160 total yards. U of A. 21, they've got to get something going offensively. This is not a great comfort behind football team. 